What is up guys? Welcome back to another flea market grab video. So I don't usually film my intros like this, but the video has already been filmed. Uh, I went Tuesday and then I went today, which is Sunday, but I forgot to film an intro. So uh, I'm filming it now afterwards. So the first part of the video is going to be what I found Tuesday. And then the second part is going to be what I found today, which is Sunday. I didn't stay very long today because I went to Akon yesterday and um, I'm kind of sick and tired. So I didn't really stay at the flea market too long, but I did find a couple things which you guys will see. But you guys know if you enjoy the video, hit that like button. It lets me know. It helps the channel grow. Subscribe down below and drop a comment. And with that stuff out the way, let's go ahead and see what I found this week. How much are the games? Ten for both. Yeah, that's old school, there, but that's yeah. the first game ever come out. This is bef way before my time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Texas Tech, the game. Still new with tags. You wouldn't do 35? <laughs> Since there's no uh, box. Sure, yeah, <laughs> sure. uh, I told you I sell for like, sometimes an average for like sixty dollars mm -hmm. and buy. Uh, normally, like this guy, I don't bring it to only the cheaper, you know. Ah, okay. Uh, this, yeah. So. No, yes, but How much is the shirt? Two dollars. All right, guys. So I'm leaving the flea market now. Um, I didn't show you guys. I picked these up because the dude that I bought them from was basically like right behind me <laughs> as I was looking through the games to make sure I guess I didn't take them. Um, but I picked these up for $10 each. It's, it's, it's a little pricey, but they're good titles. We got GoldenEye, uh, Ocarina of Time, and then this one, Mischief Makers. This is one I'm picked up for my personal collection because this is one I've been looking for for a while, but for whatever, whatever reason, I just never found it. All right, so let's go on. You said they're a dollar each? Yeah, how many? Two? Two dollars? Yeah. Okay. How much are the shoes? Three dollars. Three dollars? Yeah. <laughs> I know this is, this is a big size, huh? No? Uh, I don't even know what size. Eleven. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't look at them like here. Mhm. Mm Alright guys, I'm back and I'm gonna do the pickup portion of the video. So I'm just gonna do the stuff that I picked up today and then I'll skip ahead to this weekend and add what I find this weekend. But let me show you guys what I picked up at the flea market today. I didn't really pick up that much. Uh, it's mostly, I picked up five video games and a pair of shoes. So I picked up three Nintendo 64 games. I probably overpaid on these. I paid $10 a piece. I probably should have got them a little bit cheaper, but the guy wouldn't budge and these are some good titles. The first one is the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time classic game. I know this is a lot of people's favorite Legend of Zelda game. Personally, mine's Wind Waker. I did have this game growing up, but I didn't really play it. Um, the Wind Waker was the first Legend of Zelda game that I really, really got into. And then I went back and played this one, and then I appreciated it after that. But I don't know, back then I just didn't really get into it. As you can see, it does have the property of Blockbuster on the label, which kind of sucks, but um, I don't know. Maybe people do like that. <laughs> and then the back label is pretty ripped up. The second one I picked up is GoldenEye, another classic game. I actually already sold this one basically for all the money that I spent on all three of these. Um, you can't go wrong with 007 GoldenEye. And this one's actually in really good shape. Unlike the Legend of Zelda, the labels were pretty messed up. And then the third one, the one I'm actually gonna keep is Mischief Makers, which this is an underrated game if you guys have never played it. Me, myself, I haven't ever played it all the way through. So I'm happy to have this one in my collection. 
This is one that I've been looking for for a while, but I just never found it for whatever reason. So there you go, Mischief Makers on the 64. So that's those three. I paid $10 each, like I said, uh, but I sold GoldenEye for 25 already. So basically got all my money back and I'm keeping Mischief Makers. And then these next two I got really just to trade in the GameStop. I got them for $5 each. Uh, the first one is Mario Super Sluggers on the Wii. And that one is complete with everything Club Nintendo. Rest in peace, Club Nintendo. Uh, this one I might try to sell locally first before I trade it in the GameStop and see if I can do that first. And the second one I picked up for five bucks also on the Nintendo Wii is a copy of Wii Sports. The reason why I didn't have a problem spending five dollars on this one is because it has Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort in it. So I got two games for five. So nothing too crazy, but it does give you a little bit of trade credit at GameStop. And then last but not least, the one pair of shoes that I did pick up is a pair, another pair of the Pure Platinum LeBron 10. If you can see behind me, I picked up a pair of these recently, um, and then I seen these, so I went ahead and grabbed them. He was originally asking 65 on these. Um, you can see they're in really good shape still. Bubble still, you know, not popped. <laughs> and you can see the tread still all there. Um, but anyway, he was asking 65 on these. I was trying to get them down to like 30, but he wouldn't go down that low. Um, we actually ended up settling on 40, which is kind of pricey. I don't like spending that much on a pair of shoes at the flea market. But since these were in really good shape, I went ahead and gave them the 40 bucks for them. And I figured I should be able to at least make like 50 bucks on them, maybe. They are a size 10 and a half. So these are my size. But like I said, I already had got a pair the other day back there, so I don't need these. Here is the other one. In my opinion, the LeBron 10 is like the last good LeBron model. The 15s are okay, um, but people kind of hype them up more than I think they deserved. In my opinion, they I mean, they looked okay, but I think the 10 was the last good model. I'm still looking for a couple pairs of the 10s. Um, I'm looking for the Cutting Jades. Those are one of my favorite. Uh, the Volt pair. For some reason, I just can't find that pair in my size. You would think it would be kind of easy to find those, but for some reason I can't. And then the USA pair I really like. So if I can find those three, I'm probably done with the LeBron 10. So that's the Pure Platinum LeBron 10s. I spent 40 bucks on them. Like I said again, a little pricey, but I figured it was an okay deal considering the condition that they're in. And not to mention he was asking 65 to start with. So that's a couple things I picked up today. Now we're gonna skip ahead to this weekend and I'm gonna throw in what I find this weekend. So let's go. All right guys, so welcome back to part two of my flea market grab video. But like I stated in the beginning of the video, um, I went to Acon yesterday, so I was kind of tired. So I didn't really stay at the flea market for too long, but I did pick up a couple things. We're gonna start with the games, of course, at first. I only picked up one game. It's a loose copy of WarioWare Inc. on the GameCube. This is definitely my favorite WarioWare game. I know there's lots of them out there and lots, they're really all good, to be honest. Unfortunately, there's no case, but I only paid $5 for it, so I was happy with that. The next two things I picked up are both hats. Uh, this one I picked up because both of these hats were only a dollar each, so that's why I grabbed this one that I'm about to show you guys. And it's this Gatorade strap back right here. You just have the Gatorade logo on the front, uh, and then right there on the back. It's a strap back, like I said. The reason why I picked it up is because it has this autograph on it, but I can't read it. Maybe you guys can let me know what that says. But I just went ahead and took a gamble on it for a dollar. I mean, if all else fails, it was only a dollar. But the one that I actually was happy finding, of course, is the Polo Ralph Lauren hat right here. You have the Polo spelled out Ralph Lauren, the oval. This one is also a strap back it does need to be cleaned and there you have the polo sport tag on the inside it is a little dirty but after a little bit of cleaning it'll be good to go and i only paid a dollar for it and then the last thing i picked up is a pair of shoes they're a little dirty right now because i just got home from the flea market i haven't had time to clean them i only paid three dollars for them and that's why i got them and it's a pair of these city sock nmds right here i don't know if these are like anything special or anything they kind of remind me of like a parlay okay as i was saying that i just noticed the parlay on the back <laughs> so yeah i guess they're the parlay city socks um and the reason why I picked them up is because there's no ripping in them they're pretty dirty but I can clean them but as you can see there's no rips or nothing in the prime knit and they were only three bucks so I went ahead and grabbed them and the bottoms are not too bad either just dirty usually uh, they usually have some pretty bad drag and here is the other one these are a size 10 they are my size but I don't do the city socks I just don't like the way they look I don't know how I didn't notice that parlay on the back so yeah let me know down in the comments if you guys would have picked these up for only three dollars or if you guys would have left them so those are my flea market rest for this week guys I hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did hit that like button subscribe down below and drop a comment and I will see you guys next week with another one so later
while I know 